Hi, I'm GeoDav and in this video what we're going to do is have a, a look at a few things that you can do with the Unreal Engine mannequin. Now, which one am I on about? Well, in this project, this is my bodge project. Uh, as you can imagine, bodge meaning i just using it for bodging and it's version 4.11.2 okay build day april 18 whatever i'm not going to try the uh, 412 at the moment but I'm, su I'm sure we'll get there at some stage anyway what can we do with this well this is a uh, pretty much based on the uh, the third person template as you can see here, third person, third person BP. Now the main thing I'm going to be looking at in this video is the actual mannequin. Now you should, hopefully, it's been a, it's been a, a few months since I started this specific project, so not 100%, but anyway. You get the mannequin, okay? In the mannequin, well, obviously you get the mesh, physics asset and the skeleton you also get a few uh, not that one let me just delete that you get, you get a few animations so you get a jump idle jump end jump loop start run and walk which is fine but mm, not a great deal now uh, and the mannequin pretty guy that he is let's just open persona is not really very characteristic is he so what we're going to do is look at how to use and set up a few other bits and pieces that are free on the marketplace now what bits am i on about well if i go down into my vault area you see I've got the mannequin mobile that's just lower textures uh, ones you might want to get hold of is the animation starter pack just look at it you now I click on it add to project my projects open at the moment so it's not going to play I don't think uh, infinity blade warriors is another one which I have installed uh, what doesn't work with this is the Miximo animation pack okay there's reasons for that I'll cover I think we've covered that uh, probably about two years ago when that got released it doesn't use the standard skeleton that the rest of Unreal Engine marketplace is required okay so well, you could go to the strategy game and bits and pieces I'm not too I don't think uh, the shooter demo uses the uh, the same skeleton but that's pretty much at the moment by the by so we've got the animation starter pack and the infinity blade warriors for the moment okay now how do I get all this to work with let's say the third person mesh no, not that uh, my mannequin here this guy because well it's playing up a little bit because I'm trying to record but uh, obviously I double clicked on that persona opens up and tells me I am using the unreal for mannequin skeleton which it says there now if we go on to skeleton it's got that there and animations at the moment nothing but when you click on animations it will come up down here the little asset browser which tells you what animations are actually linked to this skeleton now you think well hang on a minute if I go into the animation starter pack I've got all these anims and look it's the same guy 
and you're like that. Uh, why can't I use that? And you go here, and you're like that. Hang on, it's the same guy, SK Mannequin. He's using the SK Mannequin physics asset and the U8. And you're like that. Well, hang on a minute. This all looks exactly the same. But he's got lots and lots of animations and yours hasn't. Now you've got the choice. You can either take this lot over to that one or take that lot over to this one. So I'm going to show you the other way. <laughs> Basically you're going to take the the starter pack. Now the reason why I'm doing this is simply because a lot of people will actually start with the third person content. Okay and then you add the a starter pack and you're like uh, well how can I do this? Well the easiest way to do it let's see let's find something reasonable uh, jump from stand I can't even read here let's say that this one here All right, sprint forward rifle so all we do is highlight it and you, you can see there on the under the skeleton bit I can't I can't move the mouse on, onto it in the details window here you've got path frames blah 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 and then it tells you what skeleton it's actually linked to so you're like okay we want it to actually go to R1 over there so you just go just right click onto it retarget anims duplicate anim asset retarget and you go oh no I remember it I have to set up the retargeting blah 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 you're like, uh, no the quick and easy way to do this is once you get to this screen you go down here to the bottom of it and it says show only compatible skeletons if you've done the retargeting setup and everything then yes it would show up there but if you just untick that and you're like Oh look, there's all the other ones. These are the ones that I've been playing with. Yes. So which one do we want? Uh, UE4 mannequin skeleton. And if you read what it says in the window, it says game mannequin character mesh. Okay, that's our first one. If you remember. Right, it says content but it's the game folder mannequin character mesh so if uh, I've lost it uh, see this is there we go so we'll go for that one and as soon as you click on that you see it comes up there it looks exactly the same and you just go retarget now what it then does, it puts this file into the content folder. So what you w might want to do is just drag it over, put it into your mannequin anim animations and click on move there. Now hopefully here we have sprint forward. Right, there's a walky one there's a runny one and there's a sprint forward with a rifle yee okay that, that's the simple thing and you're like that yeah okay but I've got a ton load of anims here well the easiest thing to do there is click on one shift click on the other so I'm just gonna do a bunch like this same again right click duplicate now obviously the new asset names you can put a prefix suffix replace one set of things with another which is actually quite groovy a oh, lot change your folder oh gonna have to do that in a minute so compatible 
So like that, uh, change the folder, where are we going to go? Mannequin Anims. OK, and just go retarget. Tells you it's done the, done the lot, and there they are, and you just got to save them. Fantastic. Save all, yep, thank you. Uh, failed. Uh, uh, oh, I've been partially loaded. Hmm, okay. Let's just go along there. I don't know why that's been awkward. And it's not showing here, so... Uh, continue... Something that didn't like there. So if we close it... You might have to close Persona down. Let's try that again. And there we go. Let's go to Anims. And now we've got a bigger list of Anims that it likes or doesn't like. I fail to say. Uh, don't know. I don't know why it's only partially loaded, but let's see if okay, it did not like that at all for some reason. So your best bet is basically delete it. <laughs> yep. And what we're going to do is try this again. See, it took the death ones, but it didn't take them ones. So I'm just going to leave it at game, okay? Because sometimes that happens. All right, it's tuck it in there, so I'll take them there, put them there, move uh. ok, for some reason it's playing up with those, I don't know why but that's hopefully, it, w it worked with the others, so maybe my system is having a bit bit of a hiccup, but well, leave the animations at that for the moment. The other thing that I was <laughs> moves along quickly. The other thing that I was wanting to show is if we go have a look at these Infinity Blade characters. Now, let me just try and load this up. And hopefully my system doesn't seize on me again. Right, it's taking a minute or two to have a look at the uh, materials. Now, if you can see here, it uses skeleton Infinity Blade wire and you're like that. But I want him... I want to use him in my game that I've set up with this rig. And you think, hmm, hang on a minute. Well, let me just open that. Uh, no, not that one. Didn't want that. Wanted that. And you're like, well, hang on a minute. Can I? Can I at all use that? with that? And the answer is yes. Because if we go on to skeleton, you'll see that's a skeleton there. And if we go on to this one, well, the names are pretty similar. You will see it is the same. Now you'll see here 
ones that are not highlighted that's because on this particular mesh skeletal mesh they don't they didn't use these bones but the rest of there so that's what matters you look at animations and like no animations for that so what we're going to do is let's just say for example you got your your blends and your animations in and everything else and you like that hmm my characters are not ready but I want to test things out and I don't want ten dozen of the, these guys running around so you can go to download the infinity blade characters oh, come on and you go well hang on I want it over there not a problem right click on that right right click on the mesh skeleton assign skeleton now let's go find it now as you can see here for whatever reason I've got quite a few and they've got the same name but that's the anim pack that we just dealt with and this is the third person one now you click on there and you can see it's all the same all set up nice and dandy and just go accept all right, and it's going to tell me that I need to save that now what we're going to do is open that one up and you can see well, hang on. that didn't work for a moment but uh, why is this messing me about now except right now if I open that we now got the Unreal 4 mannequin as its skeleton animations Uh, if I can get this to start, there we go. We got the guy sprinting forward, and he's like, that. "Yay!" So that's how you could use the Infinity Blade characters with your game, if that's what you want. Now, before I leave this alone, uh, let's just. Have a chill pill, have a bimble. All right, let's just go back in, into here. Now, if you're having issues with the uh, deformations and the bones not sitting right, or the animations are not pl well, don't look to be playing correctly. Now, you can put on show bones, and that shows you your bones, and obviously sockets, your names. But the other thing to watch for is show advanced options within. You got to have skeleton selected, and if you go into the skeleton tree, look for your advanced options, and make sure that it's only the root, the pelvis, and the IK stuff that are selected to animation. The rest you want to be set to skeleton because that then takes the, if I understand it correctly, the length and the scale and the rotations of the bones that you have set for that particular mesh and the animations just drive those bones where if you have everything set up as animation, uh, I suppose if you got one bone that's scaling and maybe that would work that way but not too sure never tried it so that's an option it's it's one of the reasons why I think epic has chosen to to go the way they did with insisting that the marketplace stuff uses the so what we've been calling the epic crash test dummy or now called the mannequin using that skeleton 
it's so you can do this sort of thing and very quickly get your characters in get your animations in and I won't say there's no messing about because there is depending what packet 3d package you're coming from but that's different videos and I've, I've covered a few on on them in recent times so if there's any issues give us a shout preferably on the forum and I'm sure you'll find me okay so we'll leave it at that and thank Cam Studio for being so grateful this time and we'll see you the next time